Well, this moment's a memory is defined by the look in your eyes, and I can forget it if you go on and tell me goodbye. But I call it the best, oh yes, thing that ever happened to me. I can tell by your eyes when they're open and when they are deep. My name is Jordan Thomas. I'm a landscape architect with Arkansas State Parks. Uh, I'm colloquially known as the tree guy here for pop-up. Uh, I've been setting up the trees up and down JFK Boulevard. They help to create a better sense of pedestrian scale and rhythm down the street so people can feel a little bit safer. Uh, they also add a bit of softness to the hardscape that we traditionally have in a lot of these areas. So hopefully people will see the street trees and realize that they are an important part of a complete street and a good urban landscape. All I want, girl, is your company. Hi, I'm Chris Newell with Central Arkansas Transit, and I'm here to let everyone know that if you want to have a walkable, sustainable society with clean air and less traffic, well, a bus is one way to accomplish that goal. I'm here in Pop Up in Park Hill today to let everyone know how much money they can save riding a bus, how much they can save the air and the environment, and also how they can ease traffic congestion, which we're all pretty sick and tired of. But this is a wonderful event. I encourage everyone to come down and see the sights and sounds and flavors of all the community has to offer here in Park Hill. Uh, I'm Stan Jackson. I'm helping out with the pop-up Park Hill event today. Uh, we're real excited because this, this area has, has needed some revitalization, I think. It's, uh, it's uh, primarily residential, but I think this corridor on JFK is a perfect opportunity to mirror what's been done in Heights and Hillcrest area. Uh, I, um, as I say, I'm helping run the beer garden, and we're excited to have that and the Razorback game going on today. So uh, it's going to be a great day. Temperatures are excellent. Hey, this is Steve Winchester. I'm with the Park Hill Business and Merchants Association. We're so proud to have pop-up in Park Hill going down today. Uh, we will be setting up a booth to uh, hopefully procure a few new members for the Business Association. And um, this is going to be a great day in the history of Park Hill. Hope everybody has a great time and uh, we continue to on the path of pop-up prosperity. I'm Ambika, I'm a volunteer with Pop-Up and I'm one of the committee chairs for the Art and Entertainment Committee. And over here we have some awesome recycling bins that were created by the kids over at Art Connection. Um, and they created some animals and uh, creatures to make recycling more fun for everyone at Pop-Up. Good morning, my name is Chris Diamond and we're here at Pop-Up this morning, hoping that the wind's gonna die down a little bit. Uh, my contribution to the effort was the temporary bus stops that are set up for this occasion. Uh, CADA is going to be making a special bus route just for this event. And I'm kind of wandering around this morning, uh, putting things up and keeping them from falling over. Be better, better. When your eyes stay open and deep and you love me. Cause I don't and I'm here at Cry Like Real Realtors today and we're doing the beer garden for Up on the Rock and we're excited to be here. We got free hot dogs, we got giveaways, we've got a little Razorback to give away today during the ball game and we've got uh, lemonade and iced tea and jewelry for sale and it's going to be a fun day. So come on down. All right, uh, my name is Elise Cullen. I'm with the North Little Rock Chamber of Commerce and we were so excited to get involved with Pop-Up in the Rock when we heard it was coming to North Little Rock and Park Hill. Um, last year we worked really hard to make this area um, a wet area, able to sell alcohol. And this is just one more step in the right direction to let Park Hill live up to its potential. And we couldn't be happier to be out here today helping make that happen. 
Hello, I'm Debbie Ross, Alderman for North Little Rock Ward 1, which uh, Park Hill is in Ward 1. We're so excited today to have everyone out to visit Park Hill, to see what great things are going on in Park Hill, to get new businesses up in Park Hill. It's going to be a great day for everyone. Thank you. I am Heather Davis with Studio Maine and also Create Little Rock. And I am one of the co-chairs this year for Pop-Up in the Rock. And I love everything about pop-up. I love that the weather is so nice today. I'm hoping the sun comes out. I love all these people out here. I love all the dogs that are walking by. Uh, love all the kids with strollers. Uh, love seeing people crossing JFK. That's one of the major things. And traffic is still flowing through, so that's nice to see. I think the most important part is creating community. It's really about um, bringing the people out and having them interact with each other and use the street for something other than just a passageway through the community, but as a gathering place for the community, which is really what it should be. Hi, I'm Joe Smith and I'm the mayor of North Little Rock. And this is certainly an exciting day for, for Historic Park Hill. Uh, the city realizes that uh, uh, neighborhood associations work and so do merchants associations and this is a wonderful opportunity for us to see the potential for Park Hill and actually in 3D uh, because we're going to see get the feel of what it's like to have a pedestrian drawn business center and we're excited about it. co-chair this year for Pop-Up in the Rock 2014. I represent Create Little Rock, the Young Professional Division of the Little Rock Chamber of Commerce. What I love about Pop-Up in the Rock is the fact that it gives a chance for a neighborhood to become a community, and not just a community space for everyone to come and just enjoy for a day, but a chance for them to come together and make change, not just for a day, but forever, starting today. Pop Up in the Rock creates a visual. Uh, it can inspire the permanent change because sometimes people need to see it to believe it. So the fact that we can come in for a day and just transform this area, even if it's just with a few pallets and some hammers and maybe a bucket of paint and uh, bring in some businesses, maybe infill some places that need some attention. If we can do that just for one day, imagine what this community could do for their neighborhood long term. Okay. I'm Chris Hancock. I'm the chair of the Multimedia and Promotions Committee. My favorite thing about Pop-Up in the Rock is that it's a rapid economic development project and I really like the idea of recruiting local community partners, partners, sponsors, volunteers, uh, artists, uh, musicians, and really getting the whole community involved uh, to do something that really has a lasting impact. Hey guys, uh, Adam Osweiler here at uh, Pop-Up in Park Hill. Um, I am in charge of the vendors. I'm one of the co-committee chairs that takes care of the food, the, the beverages everybody's having today, and the vendors that are out here. 
My favorite about, part about Pop Up in the Rock is actually getting the community involved uh, in their surrounding areas. Um, getting Park Hill and all the uh, participants that are out here today, it's really nice to see everybody getting involved um, in their own cities and taking care of uh, traffic uh, flow around here and everything that's going on. The reason we chose Park Hill for Pop Up in the Rock 2014 is mainly because of the outcry that this residents and these businesses here uh, gave us. They want the help to address the concerns that they have in this neighborhood and we want to help them do that. Um, some of the concerns that we had to address of course were the traffic. We needed to slow it down and make it safe for everyone to travel all across the neighborhood whether it be by bicycle, by foot, or by motor vehicle. And then of course the other reason we chose Park Hill is because of the outstanding partnerships that we have made here. The city of North Little Rock was absolutely fundamental in making Pop Up in the Rock 2014 happen and we could, just could not have had anything better from them. Uh, the North Little Rock Chamber of Commerce as well as their Young Professionals Division and even the Business Merchant Association. These were all instrumental partners that really made Pop Up Park Hill exactly what it should be. Perfect. Pop Up Park Hill is really a unique site for the Pop Up in the Rock Community Development Group. There's a lot of firsts this year. It's the first time that we've done a pop up project on a state highway and we're really hoping that this opportunity to work with the state highway department will set some useful precedents for other communities around the state whose ma uh, main streets and downtowns are, are divided by highways. Uh, we found that making highways more walkable and more friendly to, to bicycle traffic is, is safer for pedestrians, uh, bicyclists, as well as motorists, and it's better for business. Uh, other first, this is the first time that we've had food trucks in North Little Rock, which we also hope will set a healthy precedent that will be good for the business environment here. Um, another important first is this is the first time uh, after the recent wet vote for the city of North Little Rock that we've been able to have a beer garden in North Little Rock. Also, this is the first time Pop Up in the Rock has jumped across the Arkansas River to do a community development project in North Little Rock. My favorite thing about Pop Up in the Rock is that it takes just a neighborhood who has some major concerns that addresses those concerns and then also turns it into a community. Um, and giving that community the chance to not only just make some changes, but make those changes forever, starting today, is what is so powerful about Pop Up in the Rock. And uh, we also provide that visual for those that need it to see exactly what their community can be. And we just hope that they will uh, take this little visual and have that be their inspiration for the future. Well, this moment's a memory is defined by the look in your eyes, and I can forget it if you go on and tell me goodbye. But I call it the best, oh, yes, thing that ever happened to me. I can tell by your eyes when they're open and when they are deep, and you love me. I wonder if you remember. Said that I failed, cause that was a moment, yeah. That the blue sky was not how I felt. 